Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battletech Heavy Metal Edition! Although currently we're doing a Flashpoint, I believe, from uh, Urban Warfare, but I hadn't done it before. Prototype 2, looking for a raven, working on that. Uh, ooh, air towards the size of slightly more loot. What's nice about this mission here is we're fighting... Um, our target isn't one of the houses, so we're not losing rep with anyone, we're just gaining rep, which is kind of nice. So we're going to keep going a little more salvage. Maximum tonnage, 55, which is fine. We're not making a change. I kind of like our little lance over here. Oh! Um, may have wanted to move some, some dudes around, but I guess it's fine. Right now, no one has any truly definitive traits to, to write home about. <laughs> I guess one of the things with the, if we have someone with like high evasion, maybe they won't spend that much time in the woods. Maybe we don't need to have given them bulwark. But then what do you do? Like, you know, you want ace pilot, because it's awesome. And then, you know, I can do sensor lock, but eh. I mean, it's very appropriate for a scout type person, but I don't tend to use it. And then the other option is the multi-strike, which doesn't matter that much. You know, better off having uh, the bulwark, I think. Corn Umbra, Black Convoy, Coin Convoy has been scheduled to pass through the Badlands north of New Jacobstad. Gauge the convoy, destroy it. Bravo Lance will then interface with the command vehicles Black Fox to obtain the location of the Raven prototype, as well as the R&D facility Black Caldera has been using to reverse engineer it. Okay, convoy ambushes can be difficult missions at times because you are on a clock, which can force you into positions you're not necessarily happy about, but uh, I think this will be okay. According to Umbra, this convoy will be carrying the black box data with data on the location stolen raven. Yep. Mm -hmm. Expect any vehicle carrying such valuable data to be well defended. Keep your eyes open. Never gone up against Black Caldera security team. We don't know what to be armed with. Odds are high. Any transport you stop will issue a distress call. You're going to want to bug out quickly after you get what you came for. So I'm marking an evac zone on your map. Make your way there once you finish the job. That This might be in flashpoints. It does feel like um, it is a little bit more important. Okay, you said you'd mark the evac zone on the map. The thing is, that's like, that's the convoy escape zone. I actually don't know where my evac zone is. Because that's probably the, yeah, because got the convoy's route. Uh, I don't know. But we will head to generically where the convoy is. Um, you are going to move this way, sort of in between. Same thing here, you got long range weapons, so you're being in between is fine. Whereas you need to go a little bit more directly to where we think the convoy is now. And hope we can catch it. Like, we have fairly speedy mechs, so I don't think that aspect of things will be difficult. Is that a little blip over there? What was that? Commander? I've got eyes so on lots the of evasion. Oh, you're way over there. So the road... Oh, it's there. Oh, okay. So we've got a long way to go before we'll actually engage. Although technically combat will start now. I copy. Enemy detected. Well, the mech right here, actually. That's not too bad. I think we'll definitely reserve down to round one. At least, well, we'll do some reserving for now anyway. Are you moving on a five? Might have been a four that went first. Good God. Yeah, no, that, no there is some five. Uh, let's keep reserving. We haven't been shot at, so I haven't lost any evasion pips. So vehicles are going a little over that way, but the defense force might be a bit more here. Okay, I'll reserve one more time, although I don't think there's anything acting... Uh, maybe there was a bit of a delay, so I don't know. This is the vehicles, but also the defense force. We get a little bit more view on things. Actually, I think I will do this. It'll give us a few more firing targets. Engaging jump jets. Give me information about what's behind. A locust, a striker, sperm, sperm carrier. Um. I don't actually know if you're going to be in range or anything, but you, you are very dangerous. Target. Since our odds of hitting the Locust is a little bit low, I think that's a good idea. So you are one of the primary targets, which is fine. Um, oh, I can jump to have direct line of sight onto some things. Actually, a few. Seems like a good idea. 
Locus is still really hard to hit right now. Uh, part of me wants to focus on the short-range missile carrier, but this does let me get my auto cannon shot off, which seems like it's a pretty good idea. These things are pretty well armored. Well, yeah, I mean in total, but it's possible we could take it out one shot because the auto cannon. I think both these can hit different locations, but if they happen to hit the same location, that'll be Locking it. In all weapon systems. Yeah. No. Aye, aye. A little bit of elevation there. And focus on this vehicle. And it's not the most dangerous thing, but it's a good idea. One for the scrap. And yeah, that's not one of the convoys. That's uh, that's some of the guards. And I wondered about that because of its motion. Uh, right, sure footing. If I just move, I gain entrench. Yeah, just stability. I'll do this for the evasion pips and get a little closer. We're still not in optimal range. That's a lot of heat. I think I'm just going to brace here. Even taking one shot doesn't make much sense because they're going to move so fast. Yeah, since that Jenner that just moved anyway. And the brace saved us a little bit. Is good. Locust, they have a lot of very fast defenders. I'm mostly worried about that Smurm vehicle, but I might be able to jump away before it moves. It moves on a 3, so we'll see. Okay, well that's me now. Um, I mean, I still have a lot of evasion pips. Maybe I want to save them, take another action here instead. This guy here might be... I need to make sure they don't escape. I think I have to do this. He's really booking it. Overheat alert, I know. Now, we have the recoil penalty on this right now, right? Yeah, refire. So I'll turn you off to save a little bit of heat and to eliminate the refire penalty. Not that there's much of one right now. Now, I prefer using my missiles and things on mechs because you can't do stability damage against the vehicle. So it's like, it's a bit of a shame to use stability damaging weapons on vehicles because you're not getting your full bang for your buck, but I don't know. Okay, you're still okay right now. You've got a lot of heat coming in. If I were to just fire now, what are we looking at? Okay, I think I am going to jump to here. I'll target this one. What's the heat on the Lerm? Because it's also 40 damage. Yeah, it's slightly, it's like half the heat of the lasers. Yeah, I'll fire anyway. I could have just gone for a brace, but I think that's okay. There comes the bulldog. Okay, nothing going on there. That has one less evasion pip. And yeah, this SRM carrier goes on a two. I would like to have no one in range of the SRM carrier. Although I would also still like to be able to shoot. It's just a single large laser, although I do have a fair amount of heat. Or I can run to here, fire with... Oh, it's still only a large laser. I guess I could actually unload a fair bit on this Jenner. But if I'm going to do that, let's take the high ground. Yeah, I think that's okay. I was going to say, is it what the heat actually going to end up being? Yeah, let's fire. Let's pull a structure right away. That's good. That's fine. A striker, I think, is a combination of LRMs and SRMs. Uh, I've got no heat. I was going to say, I can melee, but I don't actually have any heat in the bank here. I'm not too worried. Uh, I think this is probably okay. We'll take the high ground for the, hit, the chance to hit. And just unload Roger. on this guy. Right arm. And a head hit. Nice. Okay. Good. It'd be nice. Um, and I know there's mods for this. It feels like when your pilot gets injured, you should get a penalty hit or something. Alternatively, I've always been a fan of the uh, the, the pilot uh, panicking mod. 
which I think is super realistic and really interesting to add in. Where sometimes, like, the pilots, you know, as more of their friends die, as they take personal damage, as their mech becomes more and more damaged, they, they have to do increasing checks to maybe GG out. And even if they don't uh, eject, they can still get penalties because of panicking, which I think is swell. Um, this Phoenix Hawk, I think I gotta move you first. I don't have a lot of evasion pips. I don't think we're gonna attack. I think what's gonna happen is gonna be a really long jump. Oh, we're somewhere like here. We might actually be in range to do a, um, a melee attack next turn. I'll just do this so that no one can really get behind me, and then I'll just brace. I still take heat damage. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. Yeah, if they want to shoot the guy who's got seven evasion pips and is braced, it's really not the end of the world. It's actually going to do a good job tanking there. Standing by. Yeah, some of these guys are about to start escaping. Primary there we go. Damage, yeah, I actually thought I'd have a lot more time, but they were pretty far from our engagement zone, and it looks like the route they're actually taking to get to the exit is... Shockingly short, at least for some of the vehicles. See, and we have all these heat problems. Commander. All right, I'm gonna have to do this with this one. Moving to position. I think we'll have to overheat. This isn't even gonna kill him, but yeah, we're gonna have to get him in a position where we can kill him next turn. Heat be damned. Heat is frying my internals. Not bad. And in theory, shot in can still go and just uh, oh yeah, punch the uh, the vehicle. Which I don't think we could punch before. I think we could punch the locust, but not this. Do double damage and melee to vehicles, which makes meleeing them very very uh, useful and also very satisfactory to just see the I step on you animation. Is that the smurm carrier? It is. It's a good thing we have so much evasion going on right now. Locus. Oh, hitting us from behind. Very rude. Warning. Armor low. Jenner, is you doing the same thing? You're targeting the same person. Oh, it is from behind as well. I might have to just turn around and engage there. Um, okay, so they've already gone, so they're not about to. I have no one in range to melee him, unfortunately. Yeah, I just have to do this. Heat be damned. There we go. Okay. I think no one else is at risk of escaping. So, probably worthwhile. And yeah, you're, you're still too hot, so you're just going to run around and melee the locust. If I go here, there's it's less convenient for them to get behind me. I mean, they could jump jet on the ridge. Big roundhouse kick to the head. Boom. Enemy mech. Critical damage Awaiting detected. Order. I mean, hitting them from the back doesn't do much in here because it's going to be hitting them somewhere where they're not otherwise damaged, but I don't know, we may be able to reach critical amounts of damage. I guess the thing to do is to take the high ground here. I mean, I might have been at 85% already, I'm not sure. And then, yeah, just wail in this guy. Acknowledged. I was going to say, they're thin enough ammo armor in the back that it might be worthwhile, so maybe the melee wasn't as required, but it would be nice if we could melee here, but that is not in the cards. I think the thing to do here is for me to do this and then just um, rest way. and just be in a good position to snipe the next vehicle coming through here. Still that SRM carrier, which might do a number on the Phoenix. I mean, it's somewhat inhibited... Uh, angle, but we don't have a lot of evasion pips, and we weren't guarded this time. Luckily, no no structural damage. I'm actually surprised. Because that could have easily just ripped us apart. That is so much damage. There's a structure exposed. Everyone's going to have a structural damage between the heat and now this. 
Speaking of heat, it's still an issue. Engaging. Maybe I should have just dumped this guy in a way. Probably. Standing by. Yeah, we're gonna have to overheat to hit the SRM carrier. Engaging target. Could have targeted the damage side. Okay, no. Enough damage anyway, that's good. Reporting vehicle destroyed. We're we shutting down? No, oh, not quite. Taking damage. Didn't I just rescue? What can I do here without overheating? Yeah, that'll do. Aw, oh, you had so much structure exposed. I figured that would hit something. A lot of rear attack, but that's okay. There we go, finally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's only one transport left. It is the most dangerous transport. Oh, and it didn't fire. Uh, did we just lose vision over it? Yes, Commander. Yes, yes. Oh, is it over here? Oh, no! Okay. Sorry, it's not the, um, it's not the SRM. That guy must, might be stuck. Ready for orders. Aye, aye. We're just gonna jump down and brace. Move to here, because there'll be line of sight blockers and brace. Aye, aye. Uh, literally, don't even move. Just brace. Yeah, you're still overheated. My mech is overheating. Yeah, I think he's stuck. Um, I don't think I want to start Commander. anything right now, because, yeah, you need to brace Receiving you. and brace. I'll move you to... Yeah, just go to here. Because there's still no line of sight. And next turn we'll be in a good position to just jump all over this guy. Aye, aye. Awaiting orders. Or... Standing by. What? We still have way too much heat. All right, I'll have to do. Firing jump jet. So what do you got there? Uh, well, you're not even that scary. I mean, it's not great. Get your Done. To the LZ commander. I'm coming in hot. All right, say so cruising altitude. So we're getting information for the Raven, and this this is supposed to have consecutive deployment, right? So presumably it's a we have to go right away kind of mission. I don't know. Hmm. So much internal damage. Not much loot to write home about. No plus weapons. I mean, plenty of stuff that's kind of sexy. Uh, probably grab these just because we can sell them for decent money. Um, and then other than that... I don't know. SRM? I like SRMs. They're fun. It's just, I like the giant volleys of missiles. You know, pew-pew lasers are cool, don't get me wrong, but giant volleys of missiles is pretty amazing. Unless it's like a four mission thing, because the next one could be raid the factory, and the next one after that could be escape with the raven. Or maybe we don't get to play with the raven, I don't know. Incoming message, bravo Lance. They must follow us to the AO, they jumped us, caught us on our unprotected flank, we ate full alpha strikes from Lance Brawlers. Omar took the brunt of it. Half dozen AC-10 shots, all unloaded in the blink of our eye. Her cockpit cracked like a self-boiled egg. She's uh, She didn't make it. She's gone. Sorry for your loss. We're sorry, too. She pulled us out of the ship more times than I can count. She's the one who connected us with Force Commander Singh. We'd still be fighting on Dame Catherine's behalf if Omar hadn't opened her eyes to the truth. Hell, in all likelihood, we'd be dead in a ditch by now. Can't bring Omar back. We can finish what she started. So first, we're going to do our job, and we're going to do right by you. We haven't forgotten our promise to help you destroy the project data for Raven. Good, we haven't forgotten our vow either. We're doing this for our home and our people. Black Caldera, Dame Catherine, all of the great houses going straight to hell. 
Let's get to it then. We've got two different combat drops to plan, and we need to carry them out ASAP. Roger that. I guess I'll lead with the good news. We've got the locations for both the Raven and Black Heldar's reverse engineering project. They're in the vicinity of New Jacobstadt, an old armory and hardened R&D facility, respectively. Now, here's the bad news. They're both heavily defended, and any attack on one will prompt the other to go into a state of high alert. We're going to have to do these drops simultaneously, then. Yeah, but we can't. See, we couldn't find any specifics about the armory. We know they've got mechs in the area, but we can't put a number on it. The R&D lab, on the other hand, is extremely well documented. They've got a monstrous amount of indirect fire coverage, whole phalanx of uh, missile turrets, trebuchets, and LRM carriers. Hostile lands couldn't even get close without Black Kadar's defense pounding it, pounding it flat. So how do we get around that? With the Raven. Oh, we need to use it if we want to get through this in one piece. In theory, the prototype Raven's electronic warfare suite can prevent nearby LRM launchers from establishing target locks. No target lock, no indirect fire. Of course, stealing the Raven will trigger the aforementioned high alert. They'll be ready for incoming hostiles. Thankfully, Black Heldara doesn't know that Bravo Lance is hostile yet. As far as they're concerned, we're the good guys and defenders of Andurian. The defenders of Andurian. They'll tolerate us in the AO even after the alarm bears start ringing. Hell, they'll probably even welcome us with open arms. Da 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 da. Together, Raven will reach the thing. Sounds as good as planned. You scout out the R&D lab. We'll hit the armory, liberate the Raven, and bring it to you. We'll blow that lab to hell together. Of course, without Umbra, we'll need a voice in the comps to give us guidance. That's you, Commander. Assuming you're up to it. Don't need to worry about Commander 18 or any of the men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. Uh, so we luckily have time to repair. I was really concerned about that. But I think the next thing is going to be back to back. Although, are we just going to be commanding someone else's troops? Repair, repair, repair. Do I want to be making tweaks to, like, the heat ratios on these guys? This heat efficiency on this one's really bad, actually. I threw in the random small laser. Yeah. Did I not have the heat sinks? Was that the problem at the time? Did I just forget about them? Delta of 10. Still decent armor. Oh, wait, what? Oh, did I not remove the small laser? I was supposed to. That was the idea. There we go. Just keep the two large lasers, the LRMs. So we still have, you know, more heat, especially if we jump, but it's going to be much, much more manageable. Right. No, the other one that generates a fair amount of heat is still the Phoenix Hawk. How do I feel about it? Do I want to make a change? Right, I'm forever in, like, an awkward place with the Phoenix Hawk. Although, again, I think some of it was because we couldn't, we didn't have heat sinks. That's right. Now I remember. Throw in the medium laser. Uh, we actually have more heat sinking, although not so much with the jump. We could pull that out and do this. And we have tonnage remaining. I'll throw the heat sink in and do that. Okay, three medium lasers instead of the large. Much better heat sinking. Yeah. On. No, let's uh, let's do that. Let you know when that's done. We'll let time go by, and we'll do the next mission. But I guess I'll have to wait until next episode, folks. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna see you next time. Bye bye.